Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you guys are well and doing great. Um, if you're new here, I would love if you could subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on when I post. And also follow my Instagram, which is at Hands at Loose, where I do every post, I where I post every single day. Like every single day. But yeah, welcome back to another video if you are returning. And um, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Today's video, we will be, I know this is like for me, this is one of the biggest launches this year year maybe i'm wrong like yeah there's jeffree star and shane dawson one but i'm not really into that um so we will be doing as you can see from the title testing and reviewing the new huda beauty mercury retrograde palette so if you want to see what my thoughts are on the palette the brushes the collection then please keep watching so i say collection but it's literally just three eyeshadow brushes and a gorgeous palette i did create this gorgeous look for you i'm really really in love with it um it's very very easy i will show you a tutorial on it in a moment i will do a voiceover for you but yeah so let's actually just get right into it i will show you the palette in a minute for those that haven't seen it you probably have seen it. that's probably why you're watching the video um but i want to show you about the performance and the pigmentation and if there are any problems with the palette so we have here the mercury retrograde eyeshadow palette so i did kindly get this palette in pr it does come with a few other things that i'll show you in a minute but i do have the press card right here which i'm going to read to you so you can get a bit more information before you purchase it because this palette is out right now i'm aware of i think so yeah so it's so this palette will launch eye looks into another dimension with 18 of the most incredible shades and textures that no human has ever seen before. Mercury Retrograde is packed full of cosmic pinks, galactic blues and tantalising teals to create out of the world endless colour combinations by using our beloved buttery mattes, high shine cream metallics, glittery powder and one of a kind multi reflective shades. So it's available from the 24th 4th of October but it now is the 2nd or 3rd of November I think and um, so it's available in store from the 31st of October so you can probably go and get it in store I think people are getting it in Selfridges in the UK and it retails for $67 which I think is around 56 to 58 pounds in the UK and um, so you can get this on hoodabeauty.com, cult beauty, feel unique I think and Selfridges of course it's probably loads of other places but those are the places in the UK that I know of. We do have here this gorgeous palette like honestly I'm, I'm i'm thinking of just like having this up somewhere just for the rest of my life but this is so so stunning look at it i just think huda put so much into this so much into this i this is for me when i first saw this i was like oh i don't know how i'm feeling like i generally don't know how i'm feeling about the palette and then i got it yesterday and i was so impressed with it and I've just tried it now and I have ha I'm having zero issues, zero issues. Now, let me just say this, and it's not because I'm a big Huda fan. It's not because I get PR. This video is not sponsored in any way. When I first used the brushes and the palette just now, I had never been so amazed in a palette ever. Now, I know this is expensive, but you are paying good money for this like Huda did not let me down on and I'm very skeptical of eyeshadows I think a lot of you guys know from my other reviews and my Instagram videos if I don't like an eyeshadow palette I'm going to tell you about it this performs so well they I just look I'll show you the look um in a moment I just want to show you the palette obviously if you haven't seen the shades these are the shades right here it's so different to what I thought it would be if you get what I mean, like when I saw the swatches and, and the actual layout of the palette, I was like, this hasn't been done before in this way. Um, I would have never have put these type of colours together, but bloody hell do they work. Like they work. The shades that I would never thought would go together, go together. Um, and they look, let me just say this from chance. If if these, some of these shades are quite pastely, not pastely, but they come off quite fair toned. They're not. This shade right here seems like more of a crease shade. It's not a crease shade. You can create some bomb looks with this. I'm telling you. I don't know how the lilac can come off, but in the pan, they look lighter than what they are in person. So if you want more, you can create some real intense looks here. Like definitely 100%, you can create some bomb ass looks with this palette. So I'm going to show you the look now of how I created it and I shall be back to give you my thoughts. Okay, so to begin with the first look, we're first going to go in with the shade Karma and we're just going to pack this using the Huda Beauty brush all over the lid. Just going to wing this one out before we go in with a lighter shade, which is the shade Utopia in a moment. 
moment just to blend that in um so we're going to take that shade right here which is a gorgeous shade and just blend the two shades together then go in with the shade hot mess just to add a little bit more depth just a tiny little bit so then the shimmer can really really pop then i'm going to go in with the two shimmer shades gold glitch and frazzled all over the lid going in with frazzled first and then gold glitch which just adds this beautiful just glow oh my god this looks absolutely stunning Then taking the shade Karma and Supermoon again, so Karma underneath the lower lash line and then Supermoon in the inner corner and we are done. So I added a cheeky second look, now we're going in with the first shade which is a hot mess. Again using that, I'm going to use tape just as a guideline just because it makes things a little bit more harsher and more blended so it's easier and pops out more. Then we're going to take the shade Utopia again, these two shades blend beautifully together. Then going with Vortex which is this beautiful like deep purpley plum, I absolutely love it, I'm completely in awe with it. Then using the shimmer shades Cosmic, Galaxy and Nebula, I'm applying one at a time, the middle one is Galaxy see the inner corner one is cosmic and the outer corner one is nebula they are absolutely stunning seriously these are some bomb shades then again we're going to go in with the shade hot mess underneath the lower lash line and we're going to use the shade cosmic in the inner corner like we did at the beginning and this is the finished look i'm just adding the lottie lashes and we are done Okay, so we are back. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little voiceover. Um, so I did use a whole bunch of shades. They are bomb, 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 bomb. Before I go into the eyeshadow palette, I just want to talk about this eyeshadow brushes. Now, a lot of people think this type of brush right here, the one that's like for packing on um, shimmer, is like one of those traditional ones that you get in an eyeshadow palette. No, I'm telling you now, if you are one like me that struggles with packing on eyesh like shimmer shadow onto the lid, these brushes keep them whether it's the huda beauty one whether it's a revolution one where it's just something from like l'oreal keep them spritz them use them for shimmer they are divine i think that's like a little hack i think i don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm the first one finding this probably not but i use these and even the typical like just cheap ones they're so so good for packing on shimmer they just do a divine job now i'm just going to say all of these three brushes i they're probably going to be expensive because it's huda but these are 100 better than the new nude palettes i don't know if they're the same type of brush fill i don't know too much about them um but these feel so fluffy so soft like so soft they blended like a dream i was so skeptical because sometimes um with the hood last brushes i didn't know where i didn't really know how i'd work with them like compared to like my morphe and abh ones not that these were terrible but these are upper class like deluxe eyeshadow brushes like i think everyone needs them i i didn't know what this contouring type of one this is the contour and blend one i didn't know too much about what this eyeshadow brush would do because i thought oh is it just for the nose or something but when you put it on the eye and you put it in the socket it fits so nice on the socket the denser cut like there's more denser shadow in the middle like at the but there's more denser shadow at the bottom and less at the top so it sort of really feathers it out so if you are struggling with blending out shades like let's say you want to blend the top part to your brow bone and you really struggle with that this will really just help to just oh diffuse everything it's such a good idea for a brush i didn't think it was going to work but sometimes you've got to trust in the trust in the process then use it and yeah um these type of brushes as well are really really nice they're really soft really soft really smooth they pick up a ton of pigment and it's like if you brush it off it's still there not like chunky or anything these are amazing they go so well with eyeshadow palette so so well i honestly think like this is probably my favorite launch of this year like I know there's been tons of eyeshadow products, tons of foundations, tons of all different types of makeup. This is my favourite launch of this year. They I've not had any bending issues. Normally I've said with um, Huda palettes that these shimmers can be really dry. I said that in the neon palettes, they just don't pick up well. I've, I even tried using these once with the neon palettes. They just don't pick up well for some reason. They've got sort of like a dry consistency. These ones are so creamy. They are so creamy. They are so gorgeous. Oh, look at that. I literally just dipped my finger in the shade Galaxy. It's so nice. Let me go in for these ones. Look, oh, look at that. Look at that, people. This is a dream. 
like I know people are saying oh it's just yeah whatever but no like don't they give you sort of space vibes like I love it I absolutely love it I've never been so impressed with a palette especially the shimmer look at that shimmer look at it it looks incredible obviously it's not even focused right now could you imagine what it looked like if it was focused but yeah i am just going to rub this off with my fingers but yeah th these shadows i've had no problem with and i use the shade gold glitch which is that self-reflected um that new shade that new formula she's come out with really nice normally sometimes with first like first time formulas you can go wrong very very easily but she nope she got it together I get why I'm not gonna lie to you. Obviously, I know this is this palette can't be afforded by everyone. Not everyone can afford this, but if you can get it for a birthday or Christmas present, I would 100 percent recommend this is for everyone, for a kit, for professionals, for really out there looks, for every day if you just want to be in there. I would honestly, if I had to take this on a desert island, I would take this palette. I just feel it's just so gorgeous. I really would. Obviously, there's the desert sand palettes, they're gorgeous as well, but this just gives a different vibe. I think to eyeshadow, let this bring something new to the game. Um, I want to try this shade Nebula right here, which is that. Oh my god! Just look at it, like that on the lid. Insane. This is the shade that I used today. This one right here. Let me swatch that on my finger. This one I used today. They look better on the. Obviously, look, they look really, really nice on the eyes. Um, on my, they look really, really nice on my fingers, but on the eyes, they're just amazing like i am obsessed i haven't tried applying these with my fingers yet i want to but then i'm just thought i'd use the brushes for today and then maybe tomorrow go in with my fingers just to see just i want to work with how it i'm just want to like go along with how it works but i'm just i'm i'm so excited like i'm literally so excited like i can't wait to wear this palette a lot more like she did so well like she did so well i can't wait to use the blues like the blue the blue haze that like teal blue is just gorgeous like really really gorgeous this is a great christmas palette as well like you can make some really christmassy looks with it and um, i love it i think these shadows the mattes perform so well they're really creamy and buttery did she say they were buttery yes she did they are so buttery love it i've got no problems i've got no problems nothing like that i would definitely definitely recommend this palette of course there are cheaper alternatives like i always say but i don't think you can really find as many of these shades that perform that well in other palettes so i do think if you've got the money to spend it definitely get it i would recommend if you can't afford it don't worry there's probably loads more that are going to come out like dupes and things like that but this is a palette that i'm so grateful to have in my kit seriously this is another level and i'm not saying this because i'm a huge huda fan you guys know me i don't really talk too much about the actual person that created it i just talk about the formulas and things like that but she done well here mona and huda you aced it and look at this cute little huda bag i thought loads of these they're just such good quality like if you ever be able to get hold of these these are like the perfect makeup traveling bag they're so nice they don't even get dirty quickly like they're just really really nice great quality love them like i just love the whole feel but yeah um obviously i'm going to be trying to create look how gorgeous she looks now. i'm going to try to create more looks like this soon but i just thought i'd go with something very very simple just so you guys can see how simple and how out there the looks can be so yeah of course i will be do, doing more of these eyeshadow looks on my instagram so please 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 check out over there i'll be happy to have you along there it really mean the world to me of course like i just said i'm gonna have loads of looks i'm gonna be doing one tomorrow on the day this is out as well so please check that out. might probably be more of a blue purpley look but yeah, I love all of you. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Let me know if there are any products you'd like me to review or test or any hauls you'd like me to do. Um, and yeah, if you're new here, I'd love if you could subscribe and click the notification bell and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.